Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. This is just a little bit of a channel update. Once again, if you hear banging outside, that is, that's the continual work on the high rise that's being literally built like less than 10 feet from my window. So I apologize if you hear some of that noise, nothing I can really do about it. This week scheduling got a little bit off because of the storms that we have been having here in the southeast. Um, for all of you guys that are a little bit west of me in the southeast, I hope that you're okay. I understand that a lot of you guys have lost a lot of power for many, many consecutive days. A lot of trees are down. I am so, so, so sorry. I know it's swelter sweltering hot outside and you guys are dealing with no power or have been dealing with no power. So by the time you get power back and you're able to watch this, I hope that you're doing okay. I hope your family's okay. Um, and I hope that you're getting your power back very quickly. I know there's crazy fires in Canada. There's also been some crazy storms down in South Africa as well. And so a lot of the shows that I typically do regularly during the week have had to be postponed or rescheduled due to the weather, not just here in Atlanta, but also in other countries as well. Also this week, Catherine Edwards is not available. Her schedule um, is, was different this week, so that's why we talked to you guys last week, but there will be no coffee chat this week. It will resume next week, and also I will be traveling for the next next week for the next couple of weeks. Now with that being said, I am going to try to pre pre-plan some videos to pre-film to have them pre-scheduled to drop, but I will probably be doing some filming on location but just expect for the schedule to be a little bit more sporadic for these next couple of weeks due to yes again the weather and me traveling. I also, I've, I've done this call out before many, many years ago when I first started this channel, I talked about the phenomenon called shadow people and I've, something has recently happened and I want to re, um, uh, reinvestigate this topic of shadow people. Shadow people, of course, is a modern name for a very, very old phenomenon that has been been going on from my research since the beginning of time i experienced a shadow person again last night and it was the second time in my whole life where i've actually experienced a, a female shadow person so for those who don't know what i'm talking about you can look up shadow people again there's hat men i've seen the hat man before um there's shadow people with red eyes and then of course only twice in my life have i actually experienced the female which is different from a hag. Some people will refer to the female as the hag. The hags are different. And I can get that into that into my episode. I am very familiar with hags because that's something that we deal with here in the Southeast a lot. Sorry, I had to stop the recording for a little bit because my boyfriend actually came home. And so um, anyway, I was just chatting with him, telling him about telling you guys about the shadow person in our bedroom last night. And yes, hags are very different from the female shadow people. Hags, I can get into that deeper, as I said, in our deep dive of what a hag is. That's very common. The, the phenomenon of hags are very common down here in the Southeast. Um, it's it's very much talked about in the Gullah and Geechee culture, which is the um, a culture that resides in the low country of South Carolina and Georgia, where my mother's family is from. And so they speak a lot about the phenomenon of Hacks. And again, that's very different from a female um, shadow person. Female shadow people appear to be a lot younger um, than a hag and they're very female and from my experience I've only seen the female shadow person twice the first time I was 24 years old I was living in Los Angeles and the second time was last night now I have seen the other type of shadow people I've seen the hat man I've seen the one with red eyes multiple times those are a little bit scarier than the females the females even though they're all in my opinion they're all uh, nefarious and malevolent uh, the female is more hypnotic now um, my boyfriend actually just told me that he heard her like she was speaking so he got up and started pacing around he thought someone was in our house and um, he kept hearing a female speaking and our dog started to bark I, I remember our dog barking and then I got up and that's when I saw her standing at the at the base of my bed our bed and I told her to leave and she left so 
there's that. <laughs> but um, shadow people is interesting. Uh, you know, I, I, I woke up and I started looking back into it again. I remember that I had talked about this earlier on my channel when I first opened my channel and so many people responded. It's weird. If you look at articles from modern scientists, they will say, oh, it's it's a figment of your imagination or it's happening between states of being awake and being asleep. And so therefore, it's really just you projecting an image. And that Anybody who's ever experienced a shadow person or the hat man will tell you that is just not true. And that is an extreme arrogant position to take um, with the hat man. The first time I experienced the hat man, it was daytime. Like I was, I was, in fact, most of the times that I've experienced the shadow people or the hat man, I have been fully awake and it's been in the daytime. So that that's not true. It's not always in, in states between your, your sleep and your being awake. The woman I saw last night, yes, it was in the middle of the night. Yes, uh, my boyfriend heard something, got up. I got up. We were awake. When he heard her talking, he went out and checked the house to make sure no one was in there. Our dog was barking at her. And I also, when I woke up, I was fully awake, saw her standing there myself. So, so no, we were not asleep. And so what I want from you guys is I, it's interesting because the internet, the world of the internet will tell you that this is like kind of rare and that people don't, you know, some people have experiences and some people don't. But from my, my perspective, all the people I know in my personal life have all experienced this at some point in their lives. They've all seen this, what we call the shadow man. And in my perspective, shadow man is not something that's not really a really good description of this entity. I understand why they call it a shadow person because it's kind of like Peter Pan's shadow. It's like it's 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 a it's fully black. It's but it's an actual entity. It's not it's not see through, right? And I was thinking this morning. I, I've told the story about my grandfather, my dad's father. He had a near death experience when he was in his mid forties, and he. I'll go ahead and briefly tell you guys this story again if you've missed it. But my grandfather, who's no longer with us, but this this was in his mid forties. He passed. He passed away for the second time, the final time in two thousand seventeen in his late eighties. But when he was in his mid forties, long before I was born, he had a ma major heart attack, and um, he was rushed to the hospital. Uh, my grandfather would tell us the story a lot his grandchildren the story a lot he actually remembers floating up above his body when they were working on his body um after the heart attack they were doing surgery they opened him up and he was floating above his body and he was listening to the conversation between the nurses and the doctors and then he saw a bright light as people often say and he walked into that bright light and he saw a man he said it was jesus i think it's whatever you in this life whatever is your comfort if it's ganesh if it's hanuman if it's muhammad i think that's who you'll see right and so jesus told my grandfather, Yeshua, told my grandfather, you know, Ed, it's not your time. You have to go back. You, you have to go back. It's not your time yet. And my grandfather said that it was such a lovely place that he didn't want to go back. Would you hear that a lot from people who have uh, near death experiences, right? That they don't, they don't want to go back. It's so nice where they go that they don't want to leave. And um, he actually kind of threw my grandmother under the bus, you know, like, they were in their 40s. They were close to my age now. And they had these three children, my dad and his two sisters. And my grandfather was like, no, Marianne's got this. She can handle it. She can raise I want to stay here. And Jesus, Yahshua was like, no, you got to go back, Ed. And so the next thing my grandfather remembers waking up in his bed, the doctors and the nurses did not believe him at first. They thought it was just a product of his mind because of the stress of having a heart attack. But then he started telling them, um, having a conversation with them about what they were talking about in the in the the emergency room or the room they were in where he had flatlined right and they were like there's no way he could have heard us talking about that so i guess that proves that there was something about the experience that it was very real and my grandfather used to always say that the light that you he could he could never describe that light he could never describe to a human being the only thing he could say about the light was that it was it was bright because he said it's it's a light that's unlike any light we see here on earth. It's it's indescribable. And that's how I kind of think about shadow people too. On the opposite end of the spectrum. These shadow people, these hat men, these hags, these with the female shadow figures, the, the sh shadow figures with the red eyes. These figures, the darkness of their body is a darkness that's not common. It's it's indescribable. 
So the best way we can describe it is a shadow, but it's not that because it's a full blood. It's a full apparition. It's a full, you it's, it's solid. It's not like a sh like you could put your hand through it. It's not a ghost. I've seen ghosts before too. It's not a ghost. It's, it's an actual body, but the darkness it carries is not a darkness that I believe is common to the human psyche or the human awareness just kind of like the light you walk into at death is not as my grandfather said it's not explainable so is this darkness all right so shadow is just the best way we can describe it and so um and these entities all have different physical like the hat man is usually really tall and really broad chested and he looks like he has a hat on and he looks like he has a trench coat on um the other types of shadow people with the red eyes they're the more malevolent ones they're the ones that will really i mean they're all malevolent but the ones with the red eyes are the ones that will physically attack you um the female the two times i've seen the female um and i will place pictures here of of how i went and googled image like other people who had seen this female and so i pulled a few images of what she kind of looked like so i'll put those images up for you guys to see the younger female is more from my experience with her twice now is more hypnotic she doesn't strike you with the fear like the um hat man does or the red eyed ones do or the hag does even she's more hypnotic and she more kind of stares you down so um and i just told her to go um and so the reason why i'm bringing this up is because i i I do want to do another deep dive into this because this is from everybody I know in my life who has experienced this. None of them are psychologically crazy. None of them have, they're all very sound people. And when you do the research, you realize like on Art Bell's Coast to Coast show, when he first started talking about it back in the early, like what, 2001, he got like over 4,000 emails or, or 4,000 letters, whatever it was back in in 2001. It was, it was over 4,000 responses to this phenomenon of the shadow man from other people who were like, yes, I've seen this as well. And so I'm putting that call out to you guys. I want to know if you guys want me to read your story. When we, when we go over shadow people, if you want me to tell your story about your experience with the shadow person, send me an email at esotericatlanta at gmail.com. Put shadow people in the subject line. If you would like for me to change your name, then please put that in the email and I will not say your name um, just so you can share your story. Because this, like I said, people I know in my real life, like outside of YouTube, have all had experiences with this. All of them have had experience it's not rare this happens now some people think they're aliens i don't think they're aliens i think they're interdimensional demonic beings some of them might actually be poltergeist ish um i was talking to mr fox the other day preparing for a show when he was saying how the cassiopeians recently said that these um these groups of nefarious people will actually conjure and create their own entity to go out and do damage. That could be what this is. I don't know. So I would also love to hear what you guys think it is from your own personal experiences with dealing with shadow people. Let me know in the email what you think it is, what your hypothesis is over what this entity is. We know it's bad. Like whatever it is, it's not here for your highest good, right? And it's not necessarily a demon either. There, there's a difference. So anyway, so call out to you guys who would like for me to share your story once again send that email to esotericatlanta at gmail.com put in the subject line shadow people i will again be doing a deep dive again going over the history what different cultures in our past times have called these these entities like i said modern times we call them shadow people but there are past cultures that have spoken about this with their own names and they had their own theories on who these entities were so so just let me know in the email send me that email and we will talk about this together and and jump into this especially since we're coming to like what do the native americans call this time the quickening where time is speeding up and the the veil is becoming thinner so more and more and more um metaphysical or paranormal uh, phenomenon is starting to happen more mainstream so um so yeah we'll start looking into that i also because i really want to get back to the root of this channel this the root of this channel is researching and looking at folklore and legends and really trying to figure out the truth behind them so please if you want to be involved in that just send me that email all right guys once again i will be traveling for the next couple of weeks so just be very very patient as the videos might be a little bit more sporadic again i'm going to be trying to get some videos pre-filmed for you guys while i 
on the way as well. And once again, special, special, special love and light to all the people out there who are struggling with the weather right now. Just breathe and um, and know that Mother Earth is detoxing. And keep yourself safe. Do what you got to do to keep yourself safe and to keep your neighbors safe. And let us know if you're in a situation where you're out of food or you don't have power and you can't get to the grocery store or something's going on where you need help, please reach out for help. Um, you can send me an email and we'll do what we can to get you safe and get your family what they need. As Mr. Fox has said many times, when the dark ones go low, we go high. When there's more friction in the air caused by this nefarious polarization of darkness, then we go high and we create more service to humanity. So please let us know what we can do to help you if you are in one of those situations where you are dealing with this with nature right now and with whether it's the fires, whether it's the storms, whatever it may be, just let us know if you need that help. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, everybody.